so, you're thinking of getting a family computer. Should you get the computer that more kids use in schools? Or should you get the computer that runs all the most popular business software? Or should you get the computer that's easier to use than any other personal computer in the world? The answer is yes. Macintosh does more, costs less. It's that simple. We got two jokers here for you. Let me show you something real quick. We'll leave the jokers here. And all the cards are indeed different. I need you to go ahead and select any card. Now, it doesn't matter which one as long as uh, you remember it. So go ahead. Let's say this one here. Now, I'm going to show it to you briefly. I need you to remember it. Got it? All right. Keep that card in your mind because that'll, that card is going to do something pretty incredible in a second. Uh, we have these two jokers. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna leave these two jokers over here and hopefully your card travels over here, the ace of hearts. Hey, 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 not bad. Okay. How sexy are these cards? Check these out. These are my brand new playing cards that come only with the escape room that we've released. So if you haven't seen the last video we posted last week before I got $100,000 escape room in my office. I've been planning this for a year and we also released uh, a deck of cards that comes along with uh, the game. So you have an escape game, an at-home adventure. I'd recommend watching that video first, purchasing the escape game. With that, you get a deck of cards, again, only available with the game. But the deck's kind of cool. Leave a like below if you want to see like a deck review of this uh, particular design, which I've grown very, very fond of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit uh, sweaty right now. Dude, I got... COVID um, like 10 days ago. <clears throat> and let me tell you, it's no joke. I had fever for like four nights and still now I'm getting sweats when I cough. Uh, by the way, everyone is gone from the office. So basically that's, if you saw the intro, that was courtesy of my team. You had Lee who obviously filmed that and edited and you had Antoine and my brother who were in the video. I told them to go ahead and do the intro without me and then they can clean up, leave, and then I can come into the office and do uh, and do the puzzle solve. So sick or not, we're still getting it done. No excuses here. Guys, I'm really excited to be back. I know it doesn't sound like it. I, f like, I feel like absolute dog water, but I'm really, really excited to be back here and just to chill with you guys for a second and uh, take a look at some really cool puzzles. Courtesy of Lego Nerd Puzzles, Andrew Parr, who's delivered again. Check this out. How cool is that? Retro Mac looking puzzle. Super, super dope. Even got like a little logo that resembles the Mac. Uh, very cool. As well as a bonus puzzle he sent me for being such a loyal customer. This is the crayon box and uh, very vibrant, cool colors. The colors kind of match, they're kind of beige. I think they're really dope. I think these uh, look like really sick puzzles. And if you guys agree, guys, just leave a like. That's all I'm asking. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I miss you guys. I miss you and I'm glad I'm back. Without any further ado, let's solve these puzzles. Let's go. Here we are. Look at this thing. How cool is this? I mean, if you're a fan of vintage tech, I mean, this is uh, this is the puzzle for you by Andrew Parr. Got it off Etsy, Lego puzzle nerd. You guys can check him out. I'll have the link below. He's got a lot of really interesting puzzles that we've done in the past. So let's try and see how this one how this one opens. So we got a little spot for a floppy disk here, and we got the power button, which doesn't seem to do anything yet. Doesn't seem to be any moving parts on the inside, which I always like. <laughs> Man, this is cool. All right, we got some like plugs in the back, maybe an extra power button. Oh, no. Yeah, the thing is with these puzzles, you never know, man. There's, because they're Legos, the, uh, the components are like hidden in plain sight. I'm just kind of, <laughs> I'm just kind of feeling the back of it here. Don't mind me. I'm trying to find one spot.
spot that uh, that may open here. Jeez, this is okay. <laughs> you you would think like I mean I don't know what this looks like, but I'm sitting here just feeling the box. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do. I guess this is the only thing you can really do. Maybe give it a spin. I love the simplicity of this. It looks so good. Like, definitely something that looks cool, no matter what. And I like that he incorporated these little plugs in the back. Okay, this looks like it moves. I don't know how. Maybe it comes out. But I feel like this is where we start. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Almost broke that piece off. You got to watch it with these Lego puzzles. Nothing's glued down. So, you know, enjoy my coffee here. You guys having coffee? Are you coffee or tea drinkers out there? I'm definitely more of a coffee drinker. I enjoy tea, but coffee's where it's at. Coffee gang. Maybe it has something to do with the power button here. <laughs> like even that little icon is like res like resembles the Apple logo back in the day. Nice little detail. Okay, I'm sure something slides out to the side. I mean, that's got to be. It's got to be it. This is, is this even a puzzle? Not mean for that to happen. Again, you gotta be careful with these things. I am, n I'm not that gentle. I'm gonna be honest with my puzzle solving. I'm always pretty rough. And uh, only because I think sometimes that I'm not moving it hard enough and maybe it's stuck. And, but uh, yeah, I'm not the, not the most gentle puzzle solver in the world, but I'm sure you guys can relate. Oh, the screen does move here. Like it slightly shifts up and down. What would you guys do right now? I'm curious. Right now, at this very moment in time, stop what you're doing, type, what would you do right here? We gotta open the computer. This is... This is very much like a Mac where they do not let you open the computer to see what's inside. <laughs> you guys Mac or PC fans out there? I own both. PC for gaming, Mac for editing. Definitely Apple products are better for editing. That's uh, undebatable as someone who makes a living off of making videos and editing. Trust me, Mac is better. I don't care. There is no argument out there. Well, you know, you can, you can essentially copy a Mac onto a PC. Yeah, but don't, just get a Mac. I know they're expensive, but they're made for editing. But if you're gaming, don't game on a Mac. Shame on you. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? I think it was supposed to happen. Because look, there's only one, um, I don't know what you call these knobs, uh, attached. There's only one of these knobs attached. And as I press down, it forces it to move out of place. So I'm guessing, although normally you're not supposed to take anything apart, I'm guessing that that is actually part of the solution. But what does that do? Oh, 
What does that do? <gasps> Is that the floppy disk? Hold on. <gasps> oh. Let's go. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, now what? Do I... I guess I'm going to press in one of these. Oh. And there you have it. That is the solution. Wow. Actually, how elegant, how <laughs> analog of a solution. How long did that take? About nine minutes, not bad. That is really, really cool. Man, I really love the use of the floppy disk in this solution. That is, okay, so three steps, pretty simple. That last one here, basically, it just dislodged uh, this knob here that was attached to the back of this, and it just kind of pushed it forward, and uh, it's a cool little box. So that goes back into there. This then goes back here, which then probably, whoop which then probably uh, ejects the floppy disk and the floppy disk goes back on top and we are done. What an awesome puzzle. Really, really cool. I really wish there was more steps to this just because I really enjoy this particular puzzle, but I do also appreciate the simplicity of it. Uh, very, very cool. Um, okay, well that leaves us time for the second one. So he did send us a second one. Crayon box or the coloring box? Hold on, let me see. Uh, in addition, I've included the crayon box as a thank you. And this one's got all sorts of things happening on the inside. All sorts of things. So let's, uh... all right, let's stop this and reset it. So that uh, took about nine minutes in the first one. Again, we're just gonna kind of fondle <laughs> the box. Oh, here we go. That shifts. Okay, so we're in a shifting game here. Something preventing that from shifting over. So we're going to see which colors now move. My guess is that that would release uh, another color to start shifting around. Seems like the yellow wants to go, but it is definitely stuck. Oh, the yellow is attached to this. I think that's the final piece because that looks like it comes right out. Oh, and that's now stuck. Why is that stuck? Oh, and it goes the other way. Oh, and then that goes this way. Okay. Are we making our way up here? Give it a good spin. You never know. You never know what a good spin might get you. Maybe now I move it on that side. Oh. Oh, that was it. And there are your crayons on the inside. So it's just a one, two. I, I guess these don't really need to move. Is that the end of the puzzle? I'm guessing that's the end of the puzzle. Took a whole about two minutes. Oh, there were these pins on the inside. That's what was going on. So these little pins here, they go on the inside compartments here. And that's basically what was locking things into place. Let's see if we can get these back in here. It's a little bit tricky. There's one and there's two. So those pins, oh, I see. So you move those out of the way, the pins actually lock these into place. So. We'll get the crayons back in there. Now, if I turn it upside down, that should put those back into position. I mean, there we go. There we go. And now they should be locked. Well, this one isn't. 
but this one is. Very cool, that is the crayon box. So two really cool Lego puzzles, super simple, uh, fun little lock boxes. This one is really, I mean, it's close to my heart. I, 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 love, I love the analog sort of look to it and the retro, you know. I wish, you know what, I wish the button had something to do with it, the power button, that would have been cool. Like this seems like you can add on to this. You can add like a keyboard, <laughs> maybe um, extension to it or something that can plug it. I don't know. This is very, very cool. But leave a like if you guys enjoyed this. Well, hot dang. There you have it. Two really dope Lego puzzles solved. This one takes the cake. I think it is super dope. Really love the look of it. Uh, very clever solution. Again, I wish there was like 10 steps because I'm absolutely in love with this puzzle. You can check out Lego Nerd Puzzles. I left the link to his Etsy page below if you wanna go ahead and support him. Uh, Lego puzzle building is one of the most interesting and I, 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 I can say even cheap, even though Legos aren't cheap, it is like a cheap way of engineering that doesn't require CNCing or woodworking or you know any type of metal work. It's just plastic blocks. Uh, it's kind of the Minecraft of puzzle building and I really enjoy it. Um, so anyways guys, check out the new playing cards and the game below. Leave a like if you wanna see a review of these and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.